So this is all about uh, blood vessels, of which there are three types you're going to have to know. Um, so we'll go through each of the three types. First one is probably the, the biggest one we'll be dealing with, it's an artery. Um, notice when you're talking about more than one, it is arteries, the plural IES. You can't just stick an S on the end. Um, I'm going to use a red colour here. Very often in diagrams you'll see arteries um, are drawn in a kind of red. Uh, we'll see how that links in a second to uh, veins. So what you have in an artery is a nice thick um, layer of what we call elastic fibres and muscle. Okay, Elastic as in nice and stretchy, elastic fibres um, and muscle. I was doing that. So that's that bit. It's elastic so that it will stretch. Because when we pump blood through, what we want this um, artery to do is to be able to stretch wider and then snap back. So every time your heart beats, that's what you're feeling when you feel a pulse. The artery widens and then it snaps back into place. The elastic brings it back. This muscle, the reason there's muscle there, is that it can actually widen those arteries. If you need more blood to, to be flowing, perhaps if you're exercising, we can widen that. Um, the outside wall, as we'd call it, is nice and thick as well. Thick outside wall. And that's because the, the pressure that's in these arteries is actually very high and you don't want them to, to pop and burst. So nice thick wall on the outside stops it going. Here's a useful word. Um, you don't need to remember it. It's a useful one. It's lumen. And lumen just means the space through the middle of the tube. Okay. So in an artery you can say um, there's, there's, there's quite a large lumen, but we'll, we'll see how this word can become useful to us in a second. I'm going to draw the vein in, um, let's, let's draw it over here. You'll often see veins drawn in blue on diagrams. Um, they aren't actually blue in real life, they're a kind of pinky colour when you actually dig them out. Um, the difference here, if we draw, I'll, I'll draw it in blue. Now, notice this time, it's, I've drawn it as a kind of triangular shape. They're not as nice and roundy as the arteries. They've got a much larger lumen, much bigger space in the middle. And although they still have um, the elastic fibres and the, the um, muscle, it's much thinner. So the, the wall here is much thinner. Okay, And the lumen, the space in the middle, is much smaller. Crucially, veins will have valves in them. The point of the valves is to stop blood flowing backwards. Okay. Between arteries and veins, we have capillaries. And capillaries, I can't really draw them. To, well, if I was drawing them to scale, they'd probably be like that. They're extremely small and thin. Okay. Um, if you think of when you have, if you think of your, your eye, when you, if you've got a bloodshot eye, and you can see that someone's eye, you can see all those tiny little blood vessels sort of in there. Those are capillaries. They're really thin, really small. So I'm actually going to have to um, magnify this, if you like, a little bit. And capillaries are made up of, if I can draw this, they're just one cell thick. So that's like a single little cell. Okay, so it's a tube made of these cells, one cell thick, very, very thin. They've actually got very small gaps in them that can allow liquid fluid to leak out. Now, the way to think of this is your arteries as being um, big, thick vessels, a bit like, um, think of it as, as roads. So the, the arteries and the veins are like motorways, very big, transport lots of blood down them. The capillaries are like much smaller roads and paths and streets okay and they take the blood directly to the cells you can't have um, the blood going to an individual cell from an artery it's, it's just too much in there it's too powerful it's too much pressure as we'll see in a second so this could be i don't know this might be an organ like um, it could be a muscle for example oops <laughs> excuse my spelling errors uh, it's a muscle so Blood gets brought to muscle, but it, it divides into these much smaller capillaries and flows back. Now, the comparison between the different blood vessels is also important. So, artery, vein, 
and capillary. What's the difference? Well, high blood pressure in the arteries, much higher blood pressure than the veins. The veins have got a low blood pressure. I'm not going to write the whole thing out. I know I've only spelt high HI, but you know what I mean by that. High blood pressure, low blood pressure. We'll, we'll just ignore capillaries for a moment. I know they're there, but let's just ignore them. High blood pressure in the arteries, which is why you need this thick wall. Lower blood pressure in the veins. The arteries carry blood away from the heart. A for artery, A for away. Veins carry blood either towards or, if you like, into the heart. I like so thinking of into because in is at the end of the vein. Okay. Generally speaking, not always, generally speaking, the arteries contain blood that has got a lot of oxygen in it. We call it oxygenated blood. And mainly speaking, the veins don't have as much oxygen in. We call it deoxygenated blood. There are two exceptions to this rule. You won't need to remember them, but I'll throw them in anyway since I've mentioned it. There's your heart and there's your lungs. The blood vessel that goes from your heart to your lungs, it's going away from your heart, so it's an artery, but it actually carries deoxygenated blood. The, uh, the blood vessel coming from your lungs to your heart is carrying oxygenated blood because it's going into your heart, it's a vein. And those two are the two exceptions. They're called the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein. You can probably work out which one's which. The reason I didn't put anything on here about blood pressure, not too worried about the capillary, the difference. The only key thing to remember here is the size of it. Very small, one cell thick.